Hey guys, this is Matt with Thrive Off Grid. So what I have for you today is a new product. This is a universal AGS system with a generator controller. Um, this is a, a universal kit um, that you that will uh, convert just about any uh, battery bank and generator combination. So uh, <laughs> what I have here is a uh, a 12 volt bank hooked up to a Harbor Freight inverter and then a 100 amp uh, converter 110 to uh, 12 volt and uh, a Predator 3500 inverter generator and uh, what I'm going to be installing today is the, the kit exclusively for, for that generator um, so there will be uh, multiple options for this kit. Um, if you have uh, the AGS um, feature on your junk or your um, your inverter system, like Schneider or Magnum Power or Ames Power, um, this will work with those systems as well. Um, that'll reduce the cost of the unit because you won't need the uh, the thorn wave. Um, this here is a, a really nice device though and this is universal you can it, it it'll go from 12 to uh, I believe 80 volts so uh, it's a one one thing one one size fits all um, that's the uh, their card and then this is the app that you can uh, install um, to control it, so uh, it's really it's a really nice speed setup. Um, but it, again, if you have the AGS uh, feature, um, you don't need this, and then you could use uh, you know what's provided by Schneider or or the make of the of the AGS. But you know those don't have the uh, the the choke choke control, the starter or duration control, um, and that's what you know this kind of uh, fills in uh, that that part of the, the system um, on the face here you got your main power button this is your your choke position angle so you can run without any choke half choke or or full choke or any any position in between and then uh, this here is your uh, the starter engagement duration um, that goes from one to, or actually zero to uh, five seconds, and then this here is your full charge mode. So, for instance, the Power Max. This is the this is a hundred amp. Um, they're just over a hundred bucks. They're like one hundred forty bucks, I think, on Amazon, eBay. And uh, this has been a really good product. Um, it's been um, pretty pretty solid. But uh, this feature is a, a float charge mode. Some of these actually have like four stages. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, with this app, um, we're going to set this up to trigger um, just before that, that engages the float, the float charge. And then with this control here, you can uh, control how long the generator will run before it shuts down in, in that mode. So that's what that's all about. And then uh, this button here is in case uh, you have a misfire. Um, you can just simply hit this button and then uh, it'll try to re re restart the generator. I don't have a, um, a multiple attempt um, feature yet. I may, I don't know. Um, I think once you have this set up, it'll be pretty reliable. Um, once in a while, if it misfires, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, so that's basically it. I'm going to set you down. Uh, I'll show you how to install it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it looks like a lot of wiring, but it's really not that bad. So I gotta readjust you just a minute. Alright. So 
So I'm just using drywall screws. And then if you notice in here, you got these four corners. That's where you're gonna install the screws. Never installed one of these before. Hope it looks straight. Okay, now, this cable here with these, these go to your battery bank. So I'm just going to route these, uh, actually you could, uh, I could probably just uh, install them right here. Alright, that's good enough for, for show and tell here. Oh. But yeah, you could uh, install them on your bank if you want to do something a little more strategic there. Um, so basically what I got to do with this is uh, route this outside to my generator. And then I'll take you out there and show you how to install the, uh, the Predator um, remote switch unit. And uh, that will be pretty much it. And then we'll, we'll give her a whirl.